Welcome back, guys and gals, to The Lodge. It's time for another episode of Knock Knock. I hope you enjoyed the previous episode. I decided to record a few, just in case this really took off and you guys really liked it. Let's be on our way. This is right where we left off. Looks like it's gonna flash that room at us. So the house has been flashing us like crazy. Luckily, we don't have to file charges or anything like that. But let's be on our way and see if maybe we can make our way over there without getting ourselves chewed upon. Alright, so it's already knocking. Let's illuminate a tad and see if maybe there's anything we can uncover around here. Let's be quick. It's telling me to be quick. I think that means I should probably hurry. It knows where you are. Great. Let's uncover this room really quick. Okay, so the clock is there. Then over here we had that wardrobe, as I recall. Let's bypass time just a little bit. Looks like our light's gone out, unfortunately. From what I can tell, we're gonna have to go through. All right. Thought about it, and now it no, 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 no! Hey, hey, you! Back up! <laughs> okay, so the monster got us right there. So it reset our clock just a tad. I figured it was going to come through the door. Let's do the same thing we were going to do in the last configuration. And just try and make our way around. You thought about it. And right then, it was inside. No need. Okay, so it says there's no need for a light. So we're not... Oh god, there it is right there. Let's go downstairs. Alright. Oh. I know that when the light returns, this horror will simply vanish. So this time we're actually going to do what the game implies. And we're going to turn on the light to make this thing go the hell away. Oh, it didn't want me to do that. Interesting. Okay, so that reset our clock a tad. You'd figure that getting rid of the creepy stuff would make the clock a... Damn. Well, it's here. The light just went out. Let's see if maybe we can go through this door before it shows up. God. So there's nothing in here either. Weirdly enough, it did flash for us to come down here. I'm gonna try and get this light on really quickly since whatever was in the room just broke it. This place, I'm assuming that Yardbirds or wherever this pl Oh, there it is right there. There's the time accelerant. See if maybe... Okay. So I'm assuming whoever supplies this place with light bulbs just loves them. They've got to be selling all kinds of light bulbs to this house. Alright, so we've advanced time a little bit and it wants us to go back upstairs. Let's go ahead and comply with its wishes because we really have no choice. This game has kind of a house on Haunted Hill type vibe. Where you're sort of like a rose red type deal going on. Oh, and there it is right there. Damn. Well, I'm not really sure what to do. If we press up and we go with the eyeball, it puts us in that hallway and it resets the level. But if we turn on the lights, let's see if it... Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, you? Oh, God. The door is busted. Damn. Okay. Well, nothing to lose now, then. Let's go ahead and go through the eyeball and see what happens. I'm going to go left this time and maybe see if we can get a different resolution. I mean, I don't know if door... I always knew that the way out was an illusion. There's nothing good waiting for me on the outside. Only the horror of chaos and darkness. This guy's kind of dark. I really don't feel like he'd be a lot of fun at the cocktail party. Really feeling like if you ran into him at the kebab table, not the best conversationalist. Like, damn, dude, you're kind of depressing. I need to go somewhere else. Oh, it didn't reset us. This time we actually made the right choice. Okay, well, let's walk through the darkness a little bit longer. So we can take this door? What do you guys think? Yeah? I can I can hear you through the void nodding at me. Let's do it. Reset or did we make it? Ooh, it's gonna reset the level on us again. Alright. Longer and shorter pass to the same resolution. I think I'm just gonna avoid touching those eyeballs altogether. 
thus far, nothing good has ever happened when we went through those eyeball gates. We always end up just getting reset. I'm gonna go upstairs and see if maybe in this crazy room with the holes in the walls, there's anything to really be taken care of. I don't know if we'll get one of our weird little hallucinations here. Thank goodness, everything's in order. I just need to remember to turn off the light when I go, and they'll never know there's someone here at home. It's like spikes just came up out of that wall. It's a little unnerving. Why would you have a, a columnar spiky wall in your house? Like, what function would that serve? See if maybe there's something over here in this corner that we can have a look at. Nothing. He hasn't closed his eyes. Although it keeps turning the light off on me, which is a little unnerving. Let me get this light on. And as always, we'll do the clock right here. We'll try and figure out the proper sequence of events. Oh, no clock here this time. Interesting. What in the hell? I'm literally boxed in. I'd say that I should leg it, except I think that whatever... It's got veins coming out of a crate. Can I touch it? The forest is creeping inside. My home is impenetrable. The lights are off, the window is closed, the doors are all locked and bolted. The air is thick. Alright, so a little bit of an oddity right there. God. Like, what would you do if you came into your living room and that was just like standing there? Okay, so there's our first time bypass. Let's see if maybe... Looks like there's something else hidden here too, so let's look up that first. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. That door just closed on its own? Eh. Let's bypass some time. Yeah, let's get out of here. I think the lanterns are now hanging from the roof by veins. Is there something else? Oh, there is. Let me see if I can uncover something else here. Nope. Okay, so we managed to hide this time. Okay, so is it gone? Who knows? This is some game. It brings me back to my childhood. You hide and feel how the time starts rolling backwards. Wait a minute. I am I'm gonna try and get this light on before something terrible happens. Stay. It's telling me to stay, so that's what we're gonna do. Unfortunately, one of them is coming. get this light on. Okay, it doesn't want me to turn the light on. We're gonna follow its directions to the T, at least as best as we can. Time's still passing, so we're not completely boned as of yet. We do have a dead end. Well, I think we may be out of options here. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you afraid? Yeah, they're on both sides of me. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> and that one has a wheel leg. That means he's going to outrun me just based on engineering. Or outroll me, I guess. There's 
It's not that I forgot to hide. There was just nothing to hide behind, dear house. What in the hell? Like, why would you make a scale that's that creepy looking? Like, was that really necessary? Like, it just couldn't look like a normal scale? No, no, we have to strive for terror. Alright, so that light's still working. Looks like there's something else to be found. Just when you thought about Right where? <laughs> Red Rover. Well, we do have a hiding place. Let's keep moving. Wait a minute. Nope, I'm going back to bed. Forget you guys. Not even playing this game. Is there anything to be found in here? As you can tell, I'm having a deep bout of trouble figuring out what the game wants. Okay, don't turn on the light. I don't want to go with the eyeball, because every time we do that, it resets the level on us. Let's just do our best to follow its... A chair with a neck grasper? That or it's like a really convoluted, one of those like grabby robot arm things with like a bunch of ex- I don't know. I, I'm just trying to come up with non-terrifying uses of that thing. You thought about it. And right then, it was inside. Of course it is. Oh, there it is. Hide behind the dirt. Be my shield, dirt. Be my shield. <laughs> How did it see me? I was hiding. A little concerned about this. I mean, I wasn't hiding very well, sure. That wasn't like a world champion. Christ. Well. Let's see if I can get the light on here. Like we got some Iron Maidens in our basement. God. Practical uses of Iron Maidens. I was studying them historically. Sure you were. Nothing that's looking... Well, I mean, this room looks very damp, but there's nothing useful looking in here. Let's get on out. It hasn't flagged anything for us just yet, which is a little weird. Ah, there's something else we can find in here. Oh, now it wants me to go back. Well, now we'll do it. Let's get upstairs really quickly. It's another eyeball. I'm always a little bit sorely tempted to go... I don't even know what happened right there. It just reset it on me for who knows what reason. Someone just walked over my grave. That's a little bit of an odd thing to say. It's a conversation starter. Just start out, someone walked over my grave. Walk up to the next person you see and just open the conversation that way. See what kind of strange looks you get. Let's get the lights turned on. Looks like there are things to uncover here. Namely one of our time bypass clocks, so let's do it. Just 
Check the spiky wall room one last time. Why am I even doing all this? Maybe it's not necessary. I forgot something very important though. Something that I shouldn't even try to remember. Why does everything look so neat in here? Well, probably because someone cleaned it up. But who? I did? Who else could have? And so once again, we're back down in this little basement room, hoping that things work out the way we want them to. No clock in here this time. In general, I need to fill this empty room with something. At the very least, so that I have somewhere to hide. Light brings clarity. It separates the imaginary from the real. Confidence arrives with the light, which is why I anxiously await the break of day. Seems as though there's something to uncover here, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> we uncovered some twigs. I don't know which door that's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. Let's see if I can open this door really quickly. As long as there's something to hide behind, I don't feel so terrible about this whole thing. Maybe the monsters follow the light, and that's why they're so adamant about me turning off lights. Just when you thought about it, it came eh, no, tumbleweed. Evil tumbleweed of darkness, a grumbleweed. It knows where you are. Yeah, no kidding. God. <laughs> well, that's that. Thought we were making good progress, and then that monster had to come along and ruin everything. Nope. I'll stay here, thank you. You thought about it. And right then, I was inside. <laughs> God. How do you get anything done in this game? Like, they're everywhere. Like, and there's never anything to hide behind, either. It's a tad frustrating because really, like, you can spend immense amounts of time on one level. At first I thought I was sick, but that's not the case. I'm totally normal. I'm most likely compensating for something. If only I could take some time off. But it's so frightening to leave the house now. Something is actually happening outside. Who is it that keeps knocking on my window? There are no trees nearby. And the house is in the middle of a clearing. I'm not really positive what it wants me to do at this point. I'm just kind of grasping around in the dark, literally. That's what I mean by when I said in the beginning, this isn't like necessarily like a game even. It's just sort of like an interactive thing that you fiddle around with. Which, on occasion, is actually quite freaky. Alright, so as usual, this room is perfectly fine. Of all the rooms, I think we should just hang out in this one until dawn comes, because nothing bad ever happens in this room. Downstairs, light bulbs are exploding, terrible things are happening. Hey, don't turn off my light on me. I didn't command that. I didn't will that. Keep the light on. Let's see. Nothing to be discovered, unfortunately. Try and fix the light in our bedroom really quickly. That light's still okay. 
Anybody down here? Nope. Let's get this light on and then we'll... Sh God, that one made me jump right there, literally. Like, I'm getting a little too focused. Getting a little too fuck used. To quote the second Hellboy. So I don't think I want to go that way now. No, turn out the light. There we go. Don't open the door. Definitely don't open the door. Fix this light really quickly. Maybe? I don't know. It pointed this out for a reason. God. I'm gonna go with the eyeball one last time before I break off the episode. Just because this level is not making a whole lot of sense to me. And really, I don't think it's supposed to. That, feel, that feels like it's probably well within the confines of how the game was designed like. I don't think anything is supposed to make sense in this game. You're just kind of supposed to wander through it. Weird. Well, 100% of the time, the eyeball has been a terrible, terrible idea. Let's give this one more go and see if we can figure this out. It's no secret that everyone has to learn proper hide-and-seek technique. This is common knowledge handed down throughout the ages. But even as a child, I had an exceptional talent for the difficult art. To remain undiscovered, you must remember one important rule. Don't look, and then no one will see you. What I can't see isn't there. It's strange, but it works. Let's be on our way then. We've got one more attempt before I decide to call it quits for the night. I don't think there's going to be anything to uncover in here, so let's turn out the lights. Maybe see if we can get this one fixed, because there's always something in here. I mean, it's always the stupid chest of... well, not chest of drawers, a stupid bureau, but... You know, it's better than nothing. The Bureau of Comforting! Why haven't I looked in here for so long? Oh god. There are literal skeletons in the closet. Great. Maybe this light will function. Okay, so we have the time accelerator, and obviously we're going to try and uncover the scales as well. So there's that. Let's pass time a little bit. And while we do that, I'm going to try and get the light working here. This is the room with just the twigs against the wall, as I recall. But sometimes a clock shows up. I can feel that someone was here recently. There's a lip-shaped stain on the door lock as though someone kissed the door with a clay-covered mouth. See, so I'm not necessarily so sure that the pinging rooms are actually where you want to go. Let's hide for a minute. See if we can stay away from that god-awful sound. Oh, the door is closed behind us. I think time has actually stopped. No, it's still moving. Okay. You thought about it, and now it is inside. Okay, so we managed to make it to the hidey hole before it could see us. So 
So wait, how did that one still count? Something makes me feel like that's a little buggy because like I was in the hiding place and how are you going to pop another one out and pop me out of the hiding place right on top of it? I don't know guys. Getting a little, little weirded out. I guess we're stuck like in a black hole of just being chased now. I have no idea, guys. This game is uh, not pulling a lot of punches on me. In fact, it is landing all of them. I guess I'll break this episode off here. This may be the last episode we do, just because I'm not really sure what the hell the game even wants. No, no, no. I'm only imagining this. This is caused by my persistent insomnia. I have to fall asleep. Yeah, we're going to break it off right here. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you like the game. I'm not really sure what the rules of the game are and how you actually win, but apparently you walk in circles getting eaten by monsters over and over again with a hide system that doesn't work properly. I'll see you guys next time and take care out there.